What are the killer fats? Yesterday we looked at the, remember the high, high carbohydrate? Releases high <coughs> glucose and that's sent to this number one, the cell. Lots left over, so it's stored as glycogen, the quick release glucose stores. Do you remember the third place it's stored? Fat. So at the high carbohydrate diet releasing high glucose is causing these high fat stores. And what the body will do is it'll store first of all on the inactive parts of the body and then it'll start dumping it on our liver, our kidneys, weighing down the internal organs. The other dangerous fat is altered fat. So this is your fried foods. But also margarine. Let me show you how they make margarine. Let's say they're going to make margarine out of flaxseed. Well, we've got a problem. It's liquid. So they saturate it with hydrogen ions. To do that, they have to use a catalyst. And the catalyst is either nickel or aluminium. You know what that means? Every tub of margarine has nickel or aluminium in it. And when they saturate it, causes these hydrogen atoms to flip over to the other side. Now it's saturated. Every tub of margarine is a saturated fat. Because if it wasn't, you'd open it and it'd be liquid. But that structure that I've just drawn for you there is not known in nature. In fact, it's very similar to the structure of plastic. So if you're going to eat margarine, you should eat the container it comes in as well. If you're feeling sad right now because you've just bought a tub of margarine, just close your eyes when you throw it. So what can you put on your bread? I love olive oil on my bread. My husband loves avocado on his bread. I actually like them both on my bread. What about earth balance? Well, Earth Balance is a margarine that hasn't been created like this. It's been created by merging a polyunsaturated fat and a saturated fat together. The problem with Earth Balance is it's got canola oil in it. We should all be, we should all be contacting Earth Balance and saying, please, can you make one without canola oil? What's the problem with canola oil? It's a very cheap oil. But it's high in a fatty acid called uracic acid, which is toxic to humans. So they've genetically modified the canola oil to lower the uracic acid levels. Now it's got the FDA tick. Sorry, but you have to be aware of that tick. It is very high in omega-3 and 6, but it's extracted using heat. So if it's extracted using heat, you've now lost all your double bonds. So canola is canola oil, I don't I don't eat that at all. 